All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Survival HQ here. So, you know, once in a while, when you make a video about a product and then you start to think about it, you say to yourself, I need to make another video. Video wasn't good enough. It didn't do this knife justice. So, I thought three years after I've had this knife, I said, I got to get another video done. So, it's on the old hickory seven inch butcher knife. Yes, the famous old hickory seven inch butcher knife. Now, I picked this up on Amazon. Oh, God knows how long ago. Uh, I don't know how much it cost then. I think it was around $9 or $10. But I'll say now, I just checked on Amazon. It's $13 US or $19 Canadian. So, let's just say one of the best valued, inexpensive bushcraft knives you're going to find out there. <coughs> so, how did it come to me? Well... It came in this card, this cardboard card, when it came shipped in the mail. The knife doesn't come with a sheath. It comes as is in this plastic cardboard casey thing. I mean, the knife, when I bought it, 9 or $10, you shouldn't expect much more. Uh, guys, it's, it's not about this. This doesn't matter. Let's throw this aside. It's useless anymore. I just keep it so I can keep track of some of the information on the back, some of the other product models on the back. So, the knife itself is here. Like I said, get the knife for around $13 US on Amazon. So, I'll talk about the knife in a second. Let's talk about the sheath. So, the sheath I got, I got my sheath off the Pathfinder website, Wilderness Outfitters. Uh, cost me $29.95 US for a very nice 7 inch leather sheath. Guys, this is a great sheath. I mean, it does this knife justice now. It doesn't rattle. Absolutely nothing. It's wearing well. Nice brown leather. Great stitching. Great belt loop. Really nice. Rides perfectly. Fits the knife just well. Just, you know, just perfect. You know, there's other options. You can get the K-Bar uh, fighting knife sheath, which is also a 7-inch... Knife blade sheath, but I went with this one. I really like the bushcrafty feel of this leather. It's very good quality. Yes, thirty dollars, but it was definitely worth it. If you're gonna get a ten or twelve dollar knife, a thirteen dollar knife, go splurge on the uh, thirty dollar sheath. I guess splurge on the thirty dollar sheath. It's very nice, nice uh, product for sure. Sheath weighs uh, so it's nine and a quarter inches long by two inches high. It weighs eighty four grams, so just two and a half ounces. So it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Made by CK Leather. Nice, nice sheath. There you go. So let's talk about this knife. So three years in, what's uh, what's there to say about this famous old hickory butcher knife? Well, this company, Ontario Knives, let me zoom in here. You can see on the blade. There you go, Ontario Knife Company. This company was... First uh, started making knives in 1889. So yeah, they've been around for like 125 years. 130 years actually, now this year. And their knives are just fantastic, guys. This one is a hardened, tempered, hand-ground blade. It is full tang, made in the USA. The knife uh, steel is 1095 high-carbon steel. Uh, the blade length is seven inches seven inches by one and a half inches high at its highest point and the handle is four and a half inches by one and a half inches so the blade thickness is 330 seconds and the blade shape is a full flat grind now you're gonna see um, it has this uh, pattern here this butcher old old-fashioned butcher style pattern so being a professional chef, I'll tell you what this is kind of meant for. It's like you see a lot of these newer knives where you have a relief marks and indentations that allow as you're cutting things to not stick to the knife as it goes down. These cutout grooves give air pockets which give relief to whatever you're cutting and it allows a smoother you know, cut through a, a vegetable or a fruit or a meat for that matter. Anything you're going to cut 
That's what those grooves are for, guys. And uh, that's what their, uh, their use is. On both sides, you'll see them there. Uh, this blade weighs 5.4 ounces. So it's not heavy. Not heavy at all. Comes with a hardwood handle with brass pins. Uh, the back of this blade has a 90 degree spine. It's very sharp. It'll strike a ferrocium rod, no problem. Uh, you can use flint on it because of its high carbon nature. You can use flint striking on the back. You will get sparks with that. So that's, uh, that's the specs of the knife, guys. So let's get into what I think about this knife. This knife is fantastic, guys. For a $13 knife, I suggest every person who's looking for a low budget bushcraft knife, pick this up. It's amazing. Pick it up for your kids. Pick it up for a pack. Pick it up to stow away. Pick it up as part of a kit. You know, you know pick it up for a bug out bag. It's fantastic. Um, it is full tang. You can baton with this knife. Uh, I wouldn't recommend batoning too many heavy things. You cannot bend it with hand, by your hand. It has been tempered. It is great hardened steel. Like I said, you can baton through four or five inch items, uh, pieces of wood, no problem. Don't go huge, guys. Don't go six inches because it's a seven inch knife. You're just asking yourself for problems. Uh, it's not meant to handle that big, but it is meant to uh, handle the small stuff, no problem. The blade is fantastic. It's got a great shape. Nice up sweep, nice uh, clip point here as well. Uh, blade shape is meant uh, on the end here. It's so rounded. It's a butcher knife, but if you choke up to your finger on the edge here, guys, you've got yourself a great, uh, a great skinning knife. It's razor sharp. Uh, it cuts right along the skin to remove every, anything you're trying to skin. So that's a, a fantastic part of this knife. Not only is it great for chopping and butchering meat and, and vegetables and, and everything you can think of. It's a great skinner. It's very comfortable because it is so light. It's very easy to just choke up and away you go. Skin what animal you're trying to skin. Uh, the handle is round and it does feel a little bit blocky. I'm not going to lie. Again, $13 knife. But the pins are nice for all the hammering I've done on this knife. They haven't come loose. It doesn't have liners as you can see through the full tang structure. It doesn't have liners, but the handle feels fantastic, guys. It's very nice. You're not gonna get fatigued. I've used this a lot, guys, and you don't get tired, you don't get fatigued. Uh, the shape and size allows you to, you know, continuously move around grip, which allows you to move your fingers, which leads to, you know, not having your hand go asleep. And I have really big hands, guys. I have, uh, you know, really big hands. And these are four and a half inch handle here. So, even with my large hands, it's it's a fantastic fit, fantastic purchase. You know, very hard steel, very easy to sharpen the 1095 high carbon. And overall, guys, just fantastic. An absolute fantastic knife. It's definitely something you should consider. I can't recommend it enough. That's why it's famous. I mean, they've been making this for 130 years. And there's no reason to change because it is that good. And with this upgrade to the sheath, I mean, now you're talking, you know, $40, $42 American. I'm into this knife. And, you know, you can't go wrong. You cannot beat this, this package for the price, guys. And, uh, yeah, like I said, the last video, I didn't think did it justice. You know, I've had another year using this knife. And it just keeps blowing me away every time I pull it out. You know, especially in the summer, I'm like, I got to get that out again. It's cool. It's long. It's a big knife. It's durable. It's razor sharp. It's got great, uh, great blade, blade geometry. Like I said, these little etched patterns, these recessed patterns really help in cutting and slicing. Hence what it's used, main use was, was a butcher knife. And for its time, when they made this, it was semi-modeled after a French trade knife only bigger you know a French trade knife would be five inches uh, same style of blade though same style of handle nice and simple uh, and they used it for everything uh, you know the along the lines uh, trapper used this for everything from processing to skinning to chopping to you name it uh, yeah they carried an axe but they weren't shy to miss you to uh, you know to use this thing heavily 
That's for sure. So anyways, guys, again, this is the old Hickory 7-inch butcher knife. The famous old Hickory coming with a fantastic sheath. Great package. I recommend picking up a knife like this for sure. In fact, uh, you know, I, I, I got to get myself another one and maybe get the Kydex sheath option that you can also get with this knife to give that a whirl and see what I think about that. Anyways, guys, as always, uh, thanks for uh, watching the video. Thanks for your click. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back again, guys, as soon as I can with another video. Take care.